Hello there, and thanks for tuning into this screencast. I'm Rex Proctor. In this screencast, we're going to take a look at two of the button actions and how you link them and how you use them. The button actions are the down up and the up down. So let's create a new markup and a new timeline. You can create a timeline in order to help you when you're developing the window. You don't need video, but it's nice to uh, see what's the cause and effect when you're marking up the data in your markup and it's dumping into the timeline. So let's create a couple different buttons and we'll set this button to a different color. The names don't really matter for this demonstration. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a down up action. Now all of these actions uh, are triggered or occur based on the button state whether it is being pushed down or being pushed up. So we're going to first add a down up action and we're going to create a toggle effect here. So when I press button 11 down, it's going to push button 12 up. So this is this down up and the greater than symbol here indicates the direction in which the uh, action is going to take place. Basically, what are the targets? So here's our list of buttons. So if I link that by dragging from the action symbol, I let go and you can see that here in the list, that that is appearing and you can continue to link other buttons so you don't need to add multiple actions you can just uh, add multiple buttons to that list if I want to remove a button just hold command and then click on it and this unlink option will appear so click and drag from symbol to link now if we look at the action you can see the direction in which it's going to take place and if you hold control you can pause the animation which is very handy when you're trying to figure things out as you're linking more and more things together all right, now we want to do the opposite. So when we push this button down, it's going to push the other button up. So now we've got this toggling action going on. So here you can see. So let's go ahead and have a look at this. If I go into mark mode and I start playing, I push button 11 down. I push button 12 down, it's going to push button 11 up. And I push button 11 down, it's going to push 12 up. So we've got this nice little toggle effect going on here. And remember, if I want to stop all the buttons, basically pushing them all up, you can click here or you can hit the tab key. Now, alternatively, you can set up the same thing using a different action. Uh, let's copy and paste these buttons. And we can do this from one button. So here I've got this down up action. Let's link that. And let's add a up down action and link the same button. And we'll remove this one by right clicking and removing this action because we don't need that anymore. And let's have a look at the actions. If I do select a individual button, it will uh, highlight it and basically dim all the other ones. So remember that control and that pause it. So you can see that I've just got one button that's acting on the other linked button here. So let's go into our mark mode and see what this looks like. Now I press button 11 down. When I push it up, it's going to trigger 12 to be pushed down. So now I'm toggling by just clicking on one button. So I don't have to alternate between the two buttons in order to get that same effect. And if I want to end it, I just press the tab key and I can end it. So that's the down, up, and up, down actions. 